So the things that you will need to make your own microworm cultures a deli cup. This is a 16 ounce deli cup. Has a lid on it. Heavy duty. Quick oats. If you don't have quick oats, you can use mashed potato. Whatever works for you. Whatever you have lying around. I have this lying around, so we'll use that. You got your yeast. I got a little package of yeast here. And you got your microworms here. You got two of them. And we're just going to use one of one of the microworm culture here to restart our own microworm culture again. And you got your water here. So we're going to prepare our container first. So if you, you know, a lot of people used to like use different containers and stuff, but this is pretty good because you can actually stack one on top of another and it allows oxygen to get in and out. So, you know, once you have this, what I like to do is use one of this um, pan needle, quart school pan needle, and you know, just punch a couple of holes, you know, a couple of holes throughout the lid here, you know, out outside here and in, inner here. Just do that cup, you know, a few 50 or so holes in here to allow the gas to exchange and oxygen to get inside. And that should pretty much work out very nicely. And I like to use this because so hopefully fruit fries don't really get inside here. Okay, so we got the whole punch in here already. Couple 20 or so in here. Looks good. We'll add our quick oaks in here. You just want a one or two inch above the one or two inch of it. You don't want a lot like that. That looks fine. So that after you have that, just add your water. Some people have different methods of doing stuff. You know, some people put them microwave. Some people do all this different stuff. You know, find out whichever works for you. Which is the easiest. I mean, this is easy for me. Just add some water here. And you just want to mix it until it looks very, very nice. So just add the water and just, you know, mix it around until you get them all looking good. Like you're going to eat them or something. Get all good in here. When you're doing this, you know, you want to get it to a, like a pister mix, you know. A little bit gooey, but not too runny. You know, when you do this, try to add a little bit of water at a time so you can find out if you need more water or not. All right, this looks good, you know. Once you, once you think that it looks very really good, it's probably good enough. Don't have to be so technical with it or anything. So once you have this, just kind of smooth it around the base so it kind of looks very really nice. Okay, so this is what it should look like. Just make make your base very very neat, so you can um, so you can view the microworms later on, just like that. Now get get your microworms, and you can pretty much. Get a few of them on the edge. Mine has a lot of them on the edge already, so you can pretty much just get them on the edge, or you can just get a couple of, you know, a few little scoop of the bike worm on top of the sauce right here or the oats here, and transfer that into your new container. Pretty simple. So I'm gonna do that and show you guys. So whichever works. You can just go ahead and take a few of them around the edge here. You know, I got a couple of them around the edge here already. And dip them in here like that. Or what you can do is take a couple of scoop of it, top of it, and you know, lay them top of here. 
spread them out a couple more you really don't need that much to uh, get it going and that looks good to me I mean to spread around here they will repopulate in just a matter of days and you should be pretty good just like that so once you spread spread it around the oats there pretty good get your yeast here small pinch of it spread it around here just spread them around don't need that much looks good and you should be set to go just cover it up and just put it away you can put it in a dark corner somewhere or you just put it near your fish tank wherever it works and in a few couple days you will see a whole bunch of them crawling, crawling around the container so I one little tip that I, I do is I put permanent marker and write down new here so I know that this is my new container and then this is the old container so once this new container is it has a lot of microworms I can pretty much rinse this out and throw them away and then this should be all set and ready to be harvested within a couple of days or weeks and yep 